Today I'm going to show you how to embroider on this uh, denim-like jacket I bought from Costco. I think I paid $14.99 US for it. And the material is not actually denim. You can see it's, it's uh, a knit type, but the way that it's dyed, it really looks like denim. And I think it's gonna be fun and let's give it a go. So I decided that the back of this garment would be good for embroidery. I measured from here to here. This is 11 inches on the inside of that um, seam, because it's kind of bulky. 11 inches down and then eight inches across over here at the bottom. And I think that one, the large uh, rectangle hoop, uh, I, I should probably be able to just uh, fill in with one or more designs to fill in this area. I'm going to um, try to find some designs that I like to put on here. Okay, I found a design that I think I like. It's from one of my favorite sites embroidery library they run some good sales the design I picked is not on sale but I really like it I think it'll look nice on the back um, I have downloaded the um, embroidery file I chose this this size here because I think that 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 size is gonna fit in the uh, RE20A hoop. So there's a thread exchange tool here that will convert the Madeira threads that they use to whatever package or brand that you have. Unfortunately, I use the SimThread um, package and that brand is not listed here. Um, I do know that the codes on the sim thread um, spools correspond to the uh, brother codes but this one is not the same one so I can't use that that feature um, I'm just gonna have to kind of wing it so I uh, downloaded the file and I'm gonna print this uh, uh, thread list and I'm going to uh, put this on my USB stick. I did a video before on how to prepare your USB stick to um, transfer uh, embroidery designs to your machine. I don't recommend storing your embroidery designs on your stick. I would only recommend it for transferring it um, because there is a limit to how much um, the machine can read um, even if you know you have a huge stick or even the right size stick but um, I think just to be on the safe side I only put on here the uh, files that I'm going to be using for that particular project so um, I'm gonna I'm on a Mac going to my downloads folder and here is my file I'm going to copy it I'm going to go to my stick into this EMB folder and the EMBF folder. I am going to paste that item and it shows up here. I'm going to eject that and then I'm gonna to go to the machine. Okay, I printed out the thread list because I needed to go through the thread that I had on hand and try to find um, something that would work for each of these thread changes. So I used some from my SimThread uh, collection and then some that I had odds and ends of that I think would, would work. And then I recommend when you do this to write down the color number of each one because as you go through the project you might forget, especially if you are repeating the same design on different places of your um, garment 
or base unit. Um, and it, it's uh, nice to have a, this as a reference. I use it all the time. So I am going to load up my design on the machine right now. Okay, I have turned my machine on. I have the USB stick loaded. It's very important to go into embroidery mode. And you, if you have it attached or not, um, you should still be able to go into embroidery mode. You won't be able to find this file unless you are. Go to your file folder here and click on this stick. Go into the EMBF folder and here is my design. It says that I need to use RE20A. I need to have the uh, presser foot uh, adjusted to number three. Uh, it says I have 14 colors. So I am ready to sew. I'm going to get my garment in the hoop and um, move on to the next step. Okay, so that was 11 inches. I'm gonna bring this down until I come to, yeah, 11. inches here and have that five and a half. I'm going to make a little mark here. My little pencil. And then I'm going to come down 11 inches here. Mark. And then half of 11 here is going to be five and a half. Oops, I broke my little one thing. And then I'm gonna go five and a half across. That will give me some markings to line up my hoop. chose the worst pen possible. Hold on to this one. Okay. Much better. I had a little trouble using this particular marker. I used the blue one on a pink jacket and I even washed it and I still couldn't get that off. So hopefully this will wash off. And I won't have the same problem. Okay, this is the part I hate the most is trying to get it in here. Um, one good thing about this material is that it's a lot lighter weight than uh, denim. So I don't really have any trouble fitting it in this hoop, which makes me happy and I'm gonna get started. Okay, I have some extra um, bobbins wound because it is a pain to have to take this all off and, you know, wind another bobbin mid project. So um, I also have a super stretch needle on here because I did embroidery on a pink version of the same um, garment and the, the super stretch needle seemed to work better because it is um, a denim, uh, it is a knit and not a true denim uh, twill. So uh, I also have my yellow dot um, bobbin case and my P foot and I am going to thread up my first um, color and get started. Okay, I'm going to Put the hoop on. You'll see I have some clips here. Uh, this is to, um, I guess, to cut down on drag um, on the embroidery arm as it's moving around because um, I found with, you know, larger garments, it can tend to get caught 
and then your stitch quality might suffer. Okay, I have my first color in. And getting ready. Let's go. done with this color tell me to raise the presser foot and that's my cue um, to change thread I am going to now change to this is the it's supposed to be regal blue but this is the uh, sim thread color 405 um, put that in um, one thing I wanted to mention for these type of um, spools, I find when I put them in the machine, even if I use a thread net, um, I have trouble with it. But I don't have any trouble if I just set it here on the um, table and then run it through. See, there's a little indention here. Um, when I close the lid, it just sort of keeps it in place from flying off. So that's kind of what I do. That's probably, uh, I don't know, maybe not a good idea, but it works for me and I don't have additional thread stands and because that slippery thread, when it lays on its side, it really uh, spills off really quick. Sometimes, if I think about threading the machine too much hard, I can't get it to thread. But if I don't, just... Okay, here we go with the second color. It looks like this is going to be the vine in the middle. I've got a little snipping I need to do with this thread.
looks like on the back. Okay, so I just need to clip some straight threads and tear away my stabilizer and decide, am I done or am I going to put more on? I think I'm going to put more on. on the front here. Well, across here maybe? I don't know. I'll play with it. Okay, here it is on the back. I think it looks good. But it looks a little lonely. I think I need to add some more. Maybe I can do something across the top here. And then a second. Oh, terrible camera work. But, okay, cover up girl. Maybe I'll do something here. Or this section here. 